which of the following cannot be the probability of an event okay so probability is always zero less than or equal to p less than or equal to one probability is always between zero and one and in these options two by three is less than uh, is between zero and one minus 1.5 is not between zero, 0 and 1 because it is a negative number so it is not between the 0, zero and 1 so this is the option and we have 15 percent between 0 0.7 between so the option is minus 1.5 we have 15 percent value equal to 0 0.15 0 0.15 is also between 0 and 1 okay if p of e equal to 0 0.05, what is the probability of not e? Okay, which they have given p of e equal to 0 0.05 and have p of not e. p of not e, p of not e equal to 1 minus p of e. Because these two are the only possible events. So 1 minus p of e and have p of e equal to 0 0.05. So 1 minus 0 0.05 which is equal to 0 0.95. 0 0.95. So this is p of e, p of not e equal to 0 0.95. Okay. okay. A bag contains lemon flavored candies only. M takes out one candy without looking into the bag. What is the probability that she takes out an orange flavored candy? Okay, so a bag contains only lemon flavored candies. But they are asking the probability of that she takes out. It only contains the lemon flavored candy, candies. And they are asking to, what is the probability that she takes out an orange flavored candy. But they are only lemon flavored how can we take out orange flavor? So the required probability is zero. Or even this event is impossible event. Impossible event. Impossible event. This is zero. A lemon flavored candy. Yes. So there are all lemon flavors can le lemon flavored candies. So the pro probability of taking one lemon lemon flavor candy is also equal to one. That is a sure event. Definitely, the candy will be lemon only. Lemon only. Total outcomes are equal to possible or outcomes. So, equal probability equal to 1. Okay. It is given that in a group of 3 students, <coughs> it is given that in a group of 3 students, the probability of 2 students not having the same birthday is 0.5. 992 0 0.992 what is the probability that the two students have the same birthday okay so they have given in a group of three students the probability of two students not having the same birthday they have given it's 0 0.992 now the two students have the same birthday now let us write what is the probability so p of students having the same birthday p of having the same birthday equal to 1 minus equal to 1 minus we are having different birthdays because they are only the possible events we are having different birthdays different birthdays which is equal to 1 minus they have given the different birthdays is 0 0.992 0 0.992 so the, the required pro probability for the having the same birthday is 0 0.008 0 0.008 okay A bag contains three red balls, three red balls and five black balls. A ball is drawn at random from the bag. What is the probability that the ball drawn is red? Okay, so the first, so they have in the bag, there are three red balls and five black balls. And a ball is drawn at random from the bag. So the ball is, what is the probability that the ball taken out is red? So first let us say the total outcomes. Total outcomes are total outcomes equal to okay. There are total eight balls, and taking one ball at out random is eight ways. So total outcomes eight, and favorable outcomes. 
favorable outcomes are taking out a red ball. There are three red balls. Taking out one red ball at random is three ways. So three. Now the required probability equal to required probability required probability equal to three by eight. And now second part, not red. Second part is not red. Okay. There are only two. There are only two colors. A red ball and a black ball. And if we talk, if we, which means a black ball means not red ball. So we have only two events. So we can write p of not red. P of not red equal to one minus p of red. P of red, which is equal to one minus p of red is three by eight. Three by eight. So the required probability equal to five by eight. Five by eight. Okay. A box contains a box contains five red marbles, eight white marbles, and four green marbles. One marble is taken out of the box at random. What is the probability that the marble taken out will be a red marble? Okay, so now they have a box has five red marbles, eight red, mar eight white marbles, and four green marbles. So let us say the total outcomes. Total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to. We have total total marbles are seventeen marbles. So to take out one marble at random is seventeen ways. Seventeen ways and favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes equal to to take out a red marble. We have five red marbles. To take out one marble at random five ways. So favorable outcomes five ways. And the required probability required probability equal to five by seventeen. Five by seventeen. Second part, white. What is the probability that the mar? What is the probability that the marble taken out will be white? <laughs> oh, up, 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 up. So now a white marble. The total outcomes again seventeen. Total outcomes are again seventeen, and the favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes are. White marble. There are eight white marbles. So take out one marble at random eight ways. So eight way eight. So the required probability equal to required probability equal to eight by seventeen. Eight divided by seventeen. Not green. Okay. Not green. What is the probability that the marble taken out is not green? So there are only red, white, and green marbles. And not green means Red plus white. P of not green equal to P of not green. P of not green equal to uh, P of R plus P of white. P of red plus P of W plus P of W, which is equal to P of R five by seventeen. Five by seventeen plus P of W eight by seventeen eight by seventeen, which is equal to thirteen divided by seventeen. Thirteen by seventeen by seventeen. This is five by seventeen. Okay. A piggy bank contains hundred fifty paise coins. Fifty one rupee coins, twenty two rupee coins, and ten five rupee coins. Fifty paise coin, a hundred fifty paise coins, fifty one rupee coins, twenty two rupee coins, and ten five rupee coins. If it is equally likely, equally likely that one of the coins will fall out when the bank is turned upside down, what is the probability that the coin will be a fifty paise coin? Okay, so that bag contains hundred fifty paise coin. Fifty-one rupee coin, twenty-two rupee coin, and ten five rupee coin. So total outcomes are total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to we have total are hundred plus fifty plus twenty plus ten one eighty, one eighty, and the favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes are only fifty five seconds, which are we have hundred. So hundred. This is the so record probability equal to 
required probability equal to 100 by 180. We can simplify this 0, 0, and by 2, we have this equal 5. This 9, 5 by 9. 5 by 9. Now, second, will not be a 5 rupee coin. Will not be a 5 rupee coin. So, we have 50 paisa coins, 1 rupee coins, 2 rupee coins, and 5 rupee coins. Not be a 5 rupee coin means the we have to add the probability of 50 paisa coins, 1 rupee coins, and 2 rupee coins. What? Or we can just 1 minus all the, five, the pay of 5 rupee coins. What is better? Yeah, that is better. Complementary counting. Okay, let us do that. 1 P of P of getting a 5 rupee coin. First, let us add that. P of getting a 5 rupee coin. P of getting a 5 rupee coin equal to Yeah. First, let us write the total outcomes, right? P of getting a 5 rupee coin. Okay. Total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to again 180. And uh, favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes equal to we have 5 rupee coins, we have 10, uh, 10 5 rupee coins. So 10, this is required probability equal to, required probability equal to 10 by 180, 10 by 180, 0, 0 cancel, 1 by 18, 1 by 18. Now, we, have, we want P of not 5 rupee coin. So, required probability, right? required probability, is required probability, required probability of getting a P of, 5 rupee coin. So, oh, we have 5 rupee coin, that's it. Equal to? Okay. P of getting a 5 rupee coin equal to 10 by 180. So, which is equal to 1 by 18. Required probability means what is the probability they ask in the question. Man, a question a probability, a probability can put on a required probability. So they want P of not 5. So P of not 5 rupee coin equal to 5 rupee bundle at time of time. 1 minus P of getting a 5 rupee coin. P of getting a 5 rupee coin which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 18. Which is equal to 17 by 18. 17 by 18. G buys a fish from a shop for his aquarium. The shopkeeper takes out one fish at random from at, the shopkeeper takes out one fish at random from a tank containing five male fish and eight female fish. What is the probability that the fish taken out is a male fish? Okay, so fish taken out is a male fish. Now let us write the total outcomes first. Total outcomes are total outcomes equal to we have five male fish, eight female fish, which means total we have thirteen fish. And taking out one fish at random, we have thirteen ways for that. So total outcomes thirteen ways. Favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes. They have asked that the probability that the fish taken out is a male fish. They have five male fish and taking out one at random. We have five ways. So this is equal to five ways. Now. The required probability, required probability equal to 5 by 13, 5 by 13, okay. A game of chance consists of spinning an arrow which comes to rest pointing at one of the numbers of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. See figure 14.5. Yeah, this is the figure. And these are equally likely outcomes. Equally likely outcomes. What is the probability that it will point at 8? Okay. So now we have 
Okay, we have the numbers from 1 to 8. Let's set the total outcomes first. Total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to? We have total outcomes are 8 numbers. And choosing one number at random, 8 ways. So, the arrow can be any of those 8 numbers. Yeah. So arrow can point at any, any of those 8 numbers. Next, favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes are to point at an 8. We have one 8. So, if the arrow points at that 8, we have only one way. So, we have favorable outcomes one way. And the required probability, required probability equal to 1 by 8. 1 by 8. An odd number. What is the probability that it will point at an odd number? Okay, now again we have total outcomes 8. Total outcomes 8. Out. Yeah, total outcomes 8. And favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes is an odd number. And we have from 1 to 8, we have 1, 3, 5, 7. These are the odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7. We have 4 of these. So, arrow can point on any 4 of these odd numbers. Pointing at one number at random is 4 ways. 4 ways. And required probability, required probability equal to 4 by 8. We can simplify this. 1, 2. 1 by 2. 1 by 2. Okay. Next, a number greater than 2. A number greater than 2. Okay. Again, we have total outcomes. Total outcomes are, again, we have 8. Total outcomes equal to 8. And the favorable outcomes, favorable outcomes, we have numbers greater than 2. The numbers greater than 2, we have 3. Okay. 3, 4, 5. Okay, now. And numbers greater than 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 6 numbers for this. So, we have favorable outcomes as 6 ways. Arrow can point at any 6 numbers, so 6 ways. And the required probability. Required probability equal to 1 by 6. 8, okay. Sorry. 6 by 8. 6 by 8. And by simplifying this, we have by 2, we can add 3, 4. It's so equal to 3 by 4. Now, fourth one. A number less than 9. A number less than 9. So, we have numbers from 1 to 8, which means every number is less than 9. So, the uh, it is a sure event, which means the probability. Total outcomes equal to 8. Yeah. Total outcomes equal to 8. Favorable outcomes are also, are also equal to 8. So, the required probability required probability equal to 8 by 8. Required probability equal to 8 by 8, which is equal to 1. It means it is a sure event. Okay. A die is thrown once. Find the probability of getting a prime number. So, a die has numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, getting a prime number. First, let us write the total outcomes. Total outcomes. Total outcomes are, we have 6 numbers. And any number can be rolled. So, it has 6 ways. And favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes we have. A prime number. Only 2, 3 and 5 are prime numbers. So, we have 3 ways for that. 3. So, the required probability? 2, 3 and 5. So, the required probability equal to? Required probability equal to 3 by 6. Which is? By simplifying this, 1, 2. 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is the required probability. A number lying between 2 and 6. A number lying between 2 and 6. Okay, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. A number lying between 2 and 6 are 3, 4 and 5. So, again, the total outcomes, total outcomes are 6, 6 and favorable outcomes are, favorable outcomes are 3, 
three. So required probability equal to required probability equal to three by six. Three by six. And by simplifying this, we can write one by two. One by two. An odd number. An odd number. Okay. Okay. Have it. It should be an odd number. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And the odd numbers in this are one, three, five. So the total outcomes are total outcomes are again six. And the favorable outcomes favorable outcomes are one, three, five, which means three ways. So three. And the required probability. The required probability equal to required probability equal to three by six, which is equal to one by two. One by two. Okay. Yeah. One card is drawn from a well shuffled deck of fifty two cards. One card is drawn from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards. Find the probability of getting a king of red color. So, a king of red color. We have the four suits again. Heart, diamond, spade and club. In these four, we have two suits red color and two suits black color. These are black and th those are red. Heart and diamond are red. And spade and club are black. So, they are asking a king of red color. Okay. So, first, let us write the total outcomes. Total outcomes are, total outcomes are, we have 52 cards. So, choosing one card from those at random has, has 52 ways. So, this is equal to 52. And the favorable outcomes, favorable outcomes is a king of red color. We have two suits of red color and in each suit there are 13 ranks and one of them is a king. So there are two suits, two kings in these red ones. And they are asking king of red color which means there are two and we have to choose one which has two ways. So the required probability equal to, required probability equal to 2 by 52, 2 by 52 which is equal to 1 by 26. 1 by 26. Okay. Now second. A, a face card. A face card. Okay. Again we have total outcomes. Total outcomes are 52. And the favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes are the face cards. The face card is nothing but jack, queen or king. And in each rank, jack, queen or king. So this is, this is also known as jack. Queen or King. Jack Queen or King. And in each suit we have these three. So these three ranks. So they have four suits. So there are 12 cards of these face cards. So we can write the favorable outcomes are 12. So the required probability. Required probability equal to 12 by 52. By simplifying this we can write 3 by 13. 3 by 13. Okay, 3 by 13. Okay, now next. Third. A red face card. A red face card. Okay, now again we have total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to again 52 and favorable outcomes are favorable outcomes and we have a red face card and we have two two red suits and each has like a jack queen or king. So we have total six face cards of red color. So taking out one, a random has six ways. So six. So by the required probability equal to required probability equal to six by fifty two. By simplifying this three twenty six. This is equal to three by twenty six. Okay, three by twenty six. Now fourth. The Jack of Hearts. Okay, the Jack of Hearts. We have this, this. Okay, okay. Let's write for total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to 52. And the favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes. 
is a jack of hearts. We have another suit heart in the heart suit. We have thirteen decks, and one of them is jack. They are asking the jack of hearts. They have only one card, so we have one way. Required probability equal to required probability equal to one by fifty two. One by fifty two. Okay. Fifth one, a spade. Okay, first let us write total outcomes. Total outcomes, fifty-two, and we have to take out a spade. We have that is a suit, which means it has thirteen ranks. So uh, we need to take one card out at random. We have thirteen ways for that. So favorable outcomes is thirteen. Favorable outcomes equal to thirteen. Thirteen. And now required probability equal to required probability. Okay, required probability is equal to thirteen by fifty-two. Thirteen by fifty-two, which means by simplifying this one four. This is equal to one by four. One by four. Now, the sixth one. The queen of diamonds. Again, we have total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to fifty-two. And the queen of diamonds. They are asking for favorable outcomes. Queen of diamonds again. We have diamonds is a suit, and in that suit we have thirteen ranks. One of them is a queen. We have only one card. So, so we have one way. One way. Required probability. Required probability equal to one by fifty-two. One by fifty-two. Okay. Five cards: the ten, jack, queen, king, and ace of diamonds. Jack, a ten, jack, queen, king, and ace of diamonds are well shuffled with their face downwards. With their face downwards, one card is is then picked at random. One card is then picked at random. What is the probability that the card is the queen? Okay. Now the card is the queen. So first, let us write the total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to. We have five cards. Five cards. So choosing one, taking one card out at random, five ways. So total outcomes five ways. And the favorable outcomes, favorable outcomes we have. That is equal to. The card is a queen. We have only one queen in all of those five cards. So one way. One way. So the required probability equal to. Required probability equal to one by five. One by five. Okay. Now next, if the queen is drawn and put aside, what is the probability that the second card picked up is an ace? First, it is an ace. All right. So we have the total outcomes for right now is total outcomes equal to. They are saying that the queen is drawn and put aside. Which means now there are only four cards, so the total outcomes is four, and the favorable outcomes is taking out an S, taking out an S, and we have only one S in our list, so again one way. So we have the required probability. Required probability equal to one by four. One by four. This is the A part. Now the B part. A queen. So we have already taken out the queen. We don't have any more queens left. So the total outcomes are always the total outcomes again four. Total outcomes equal to four, and the favorable outcomes favorable outcomes equal to zero because there are no more queens left. So the required probability equal to required probability equal to zero by four zero by four, which is equal to zero. It is an impossible event. Okay. Twelve defective pens are accidentally mixed with twelve defective pens are accidentally mixed with the one thirty two good ones. It is not possible to just look at a pen and tell whether it is not de not defective. One pen is taken out at random from this slot. Determine the probability that the pen 
taken out is a good one. Okay, so for this, we have total outcomes again. Total outcomes equal to 132 plus 12, which is 144. 144. And the favorable outcomes, favorable outcomes equal to the pen taken out is a good one. We have 132 good ones. So the favorable outcomes of choosing one, one from the 132 has 132 ways. So 132. So the required probability equal to required probability equal to 132 by 144. And by simplifying this by 6, we have 22 and this one 24. And again by 2, we have 11 and 12. This is equal to 11 by 12. Okay. A lot of 12 to 20 bulbs contain 4 defective bulbs. A lot of 20 bulbs contain 4 defective ones. One bulb is drawn at random from the lot. It is drawn at random from the lot. What is the probability that this bulb is defective? Okay, now. Let's write the total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to total outcomes equal to 20. 20. Uh, yeah, 20. Now, the favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes equal to favorable outcomes equal to then what, the, what is the probability that the bulb is defective? We have four defective bulbs. So, the probability the Favorable outcomes are four ways. Four ways. So the required probability equal to required probability equal to four by twenty. Let us simplify this one five. So equal to one by five. Okay. Now second one. Suppose the bulb drawn in what in the first part is not defective and is not replaced. It is not defective and is not replaced. Now, one bulb is drawn at random from the rest. What is the probability that this bulb is not defective? This bulb is not defective. Okay. So, the first bulb is not a defective bulb. So, it is and it is kept out only. It is not replaced. So, the total outcomes are total outcomes have total outcomes we have 19 bulbs. Have total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to 19 bulbs. 19 bulbs no, which contain not replacement type. Yeah. Which contain 15, 15 good ones and 4 defective ones. Which have 15 good ones and 4 defective. 4 bad. So, we have these are the 19 bulbs. So, this is the total outcomes. Now, the favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes equal to it is not defective. Now, it is not defective. So, we have not defective are 15 ones. 15 bulbs. So, we can add with by choosing one at random, it has 15 ways. So, 15. The required probability required probability equal to 15 by 19. 15 by 19. Okay. A box contains 90 discs which are numbered from 1 to 90. If one disc is drawn at random, one disc is drawn at random from the box, find the probability that it bears a two digit number. Okay. So it has from numbers from 1. 290 and now the number taken out is a two digit number so first let us find the total outcomes total outcomes are we have total outcomes 90 90 discs by taking one at random we have 90 ways so the favorable outcomes are favorable outcomes we have it is a two digit number so from 10 to 90 which means 80 numbers from 10 to 90 we have, wait, two digit numbers, two digit numbers we have, these are, these are t from 10 to 90 and the total are by taking the reference, 
minus 9, we have 1 to 81, which is 81. So, we have favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes equal to 81. So, required probability, required probability equal to 81 by 90. 81 by 90. And by simplifying this, you can write 9, 10. 9 by 10. 9 by 10. And the second one. It is a perfect square number. It's a perfect square number. So from 1 to 90, we have some perfect squares, which are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, and 81. These are the perfect square numbers. So first, let us write the total outcomes. Again, we have total outcomes are 90. Total outcomes 90 and the favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes are from 1 to 9, which is 9 numbers. 9 ways. So, required probability, required probability equal to 9 by 90. 9 by 90. So, we, by simplifying this 1, 10. So, we have 1 by 10. Is the required probability. Now, third part. Third part, a number divisible by 5, which is the, the numbers which are multiples of 5. So, we have numbers which are multiple of 5, have from 5, 5, 10, 15, up to, up to, we have, up to 90 only, up to 90. And now, we have to take out 5 common, 1, 2, 3, up to so on, 18. So, we have 18 numbers for this. Total outcomes 90. Total outcomes 90. Favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes equal to 18. So, required probability. Required probability equal to 18 by 90. 18 by 90. Which is equal to by simplifying 1 by 5. 1 by 5. Alright. This, a child has a die whose six faces show the letters as given below. A, B, C, D, E, A. We have two A's, B, C, D, E. The die is thrown once. What is the probability of getting A? So first, let's write the total outcomes. Total outcomes, we have six faces. Six faces, because there are six faces, a one face rollout has six faces. So six. And the favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes is to get an A. We have two A's. To get one A, we have two A's. So, here have two A's. And now, the required probability. Required probability equal to 2 by 6. 2 by 6, which is equal to 1 by 3. 1 by 3. Okay. And the second part is the, to get a D. A D. So, which means total outcomes again. Total outcomes, we have 6. Favorable outcomes to get a D. Favorable outcomes we have is to get a D. We have only one D, so one way. One way. Required probability. Required probability equal to 1 by 6. 1 by 6. Okay. Suppose you drop a die at a random at random on the rectangular region shown in figure 14.6. This is the rectangular region. What is the probability that it will land inside the circle with the diameter one diameter is one meter? Okay, so this is the type of geometric probability again. So the total total possible region. Geometric probability with the two dimension. Yeah, again two dimension. Total possible region. Total possible region we have? Area of the region. Yeah, area of the total so rectangular three region. Two dimensional. Hmm. So, 3 into 2. Area six of the rectangle. Meters. Yeah, area of the rectangle. 3 into 2. 3 meters into 2 meters. Which is equal to 6 me square meters. 6 square meters. 
and the it the die will die will land inside the circle so they have told the diameter is 1 meter so the radius of the circle radius equal to 1 by 2 meters so let us imagine that is the center oh so this is the radius and have that length 1 by 2 meters 1 by 2 meters so the area of this circle which is the favorable region favorable region equal to favorable region equal to area of the circle which is 1 by 2 whole square 1 by 2 whole square into pi into pi meter square meter square which is 1 by 4 pi 1 by 4 pi meter square square meter so now the required probability required probability equal to the probability equal to pi by 4 pi pi by 4 whole divided by whole divided by 6 meter square 6 meter square or here meter square so cut we have this equal to pi by 24 pi by 24 okay A lot consists of one forty-four ball pens, of which twenty are defective, and the others are good. And will buy a pen if it is good. And will buy a pen if it is good, but will not buy if it is defective. Defective. The shopkeeper draws one pen at random and gives it to her. What is the probability that she will buy it? So the total outcomes. Total outcomes. Total outcomes we have that is equal to one forty four ball pens, so one forty one. Taking out one at random has one forty four base. And the favorable outcomes, favorable outcomes we have for that. For favorable outcomes, we'll get for she'll buy it, which means one twenty four pens because she'll buy if it is good only. Twenty are defective, so one twenty four. One twenty four. The required probability. Required. Probability equal to one twenty four by twenty one forty four one forty four, which is equal to one twenty four divided by one forty four, which is equal to cancelling. We'll take the seventy two sixty two again thirty one this one thirty six, which is which is thirty one by thirty six. This was the first part. Now second, she will not buy. It. So first again total outcomes. Have total outcomes. She will not buy. It. We can use the complementary probability. Yeah, we can use that. So P of not buying. P of not buying equal to one minus P of the she will buy the pen, which is equal to one minus P of buying the pen is thirty one by thirty six. Thirty-one by thirty-six. So we can write it as five by thirty-six. Five by thirty-six. Okay. Refer to example thirteen. First, complete the following table. Okay. Let's complete this table. So we have event the sum of of two races. Sum on two dice is two. We have one by thirty six. Yeah, one plus one. We have only one possible outcome, which is one comma one. So, so we have that is one by thirty six. Now to get the sum of three, we have one comma two and two comma one. So we have two possible outcomes. The probability two by thirty six because total outcomes thirty six. Favorable outcomes two. Required probability two by thirty six. And to get the sum of four, what? Now oh, a plus b equal to three. Okay, a plus b equal to three. We have a comma b, a b one two two one. And if a plus b equal to four, a plus b equal to four. We have a comma b one comma three, two comma two, three comma one. Three ways. So three by thirty six. And for five, a plus b. Equal to a plus b equal to five. We have a comma b 
और वन कामा फोर टू कामा थ्री थ्री कामा टू एंड फोर कामा वन सो वी हैव फोर वेज फॉर दिस फोर बाई थर्टी सिक्स एंड फॉर ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू सिक्स फॉर ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू सिक्स ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू सिक्स वी हैव ए कामा बी वन फाइव टू फोर थ्री थ्री फोर टू फाइव वन फाइव पॉसिबल आउटकम्स सो फाइव बाई थर्टी सिक्स ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू सिक्स ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू सिक्स वी हैव ए कामा बी ए कामा बी वन कामा फाइव वन कामा फाइव टू कामा फोर थ्री कामा सेवन 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 वी हैव दिस वन कामा सिक्स टू कामा फाइव थ्री कामा फोर फोर कामा थ्री फाइव कामा टू एंड सिक्स कामा वन Which means we have six outcomes. So six by thirty-six. Six by thirty-six. We have a plus b equal to eight. We have given a plus b equal to nine. A comma b. A b. We have one eight two two seven three six four five five four six. Three, seven, two, eight, one. So we have eight possibilities. So eight and so over here we have <laughs> these both, these both are not possible. They are having up to six only. Yeah, yeah. This is not possible. These are not possible. So four, four possible outcomes. Four by thirty-six. For ten. A plus B equal to ten. We we have A B one nine two eight three seven four six five five six four. These three are not possible because nine and seven are not on the dice. So these three are not possible. So three ways. Three by thirty six. Three by thirty-six, and the last one. <coughs> last one is A B equal to twelve. A plus B equal to twelve. Eleven, eleven. Yeah, A comma B. One, ten, two, nine, three, eight, four, seven, six, five, six, six, five. These four are not possible. These four are not possible, so we have only two ways for this. Two by thirty-six. Two by thirty-six. A student, uh, okay, yeah. Mm. A student argues that there are eleven possible outcomes: two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Therefore, each of them has a probability one by eleven. Okay. Do you agree with this argument? No, because we have one by thirty-six, two by thirty-six, three by all outcomes have different probabilities. Because for the number of if a plus b equal to two, the number of outcomes are not are some different than for three, four like that. So it is not one by twelve. No, those are not equal. Those are not equally likely. Equally likely. Not equally likely. Yes. A game consists of tossing a one rupee coin three times, three times, and nothing. And noting that its outcome each time, H wins if all three tosses give the same result. That is three heads or three tails, and loses otherwise. Okay, so H will win if those three coins have all three heads or all three tails, and will lose if there it if there is at least one head or at least one tail. And at least one tail. Calculate the probability that H will lose the game. So for this, we can do the complementary counting, which is P of losing the game. P of losing the game equal to one minus P of winning the game. P of winning the game, which is equal to one minus P of winning the game has only two possibilities. 
All three heads or all three tails, which is two by two divided by. We have three coins, so the total outcomes C one, C two, and C three. For this two, for this two, and there's also two. And if we got hatch, head, tail, and tail, and other one is tail, head, or tail. These both are different ones because coins are different. Yeah, the coins are different. So our coins are different. They toss it three times. Yeah, then second time, third time. Yes, yes. One coin only. They toss it three times. First time, second time, third time. Flip one, flip two, flip three. Now you can see. So this is equal to eight ways. So the total outcomes are eight. This is equal to one minus one by four, which is equal to three by four. Three by four. Next one. A die is thrown twice. A die is thrown twice. What is the probability that five will not come up either time? So five will not come up either time. First, let us note the total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to uh, a die is thrown twice, which means it is uh, it has thirty six outcomes because first time, second time. Yeah, F one, F two, flip one, flip two. Have six ways, six ways. And if we got one, two, two, one. These both are different because the flips uh, they have flipped the dice two times. So these both are different. We can write this equal to thirty six. Thirty six. Five. Okay. Now the favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes equal to five will not come up either time. So which means that for the first flip. Okay. Let us again write. For the first flip and second flip, have five will not come up in the first flip, which has five ways: one, two, three, four, and six. Five ways, and for flip two also five ways because in this also five should not appear. And again, like the like the total outcomes, we have five into five, which is equal to twenty five. Twenty five. So required probability, required probability equal to five by uh, twenty five by thirty six. Twenty-five by thirty-six, and now second one. Five will come up at least once. So first, let's write total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to thirty-six, and the favorable outcomes. Five will come up at least once. So for this, we can just do the complementary counting instead of this, because in the first part we did five will not come up either time. It's either this or five will come up at least once. At least once means we can get it on first. First place, pl second place, uh, second throw, or both. Or both. Or both. It is better. Uh, it is better to yeah, do the complementary one. Not and not five, which is the first part. Hmm. So one minus. Uh, okay. P of not getting five. P of not getting five equal to one minus. Hmm. Okay. P of getting five, right? P of getting five. Equal to one minus p of not getting five. P of not getting five, which is equal to one minus twenty five by thirty six. Twenty five by thirty six. So we can write this equal to one eleven by thirty six. Eleven by thirty six. This is equal to eleven by thirty six. This p of getting five at least one so. Yeah. That I have to write it over there. P of five is not p of five. At least once. Least once. It can be on first two or second. Second or, or both. both. The last one, huh? Yes. Oh, yes. Good. Okay. Which of the following arguments are correct and which are not correct? Give reasons for your answer. Okay. If two coins are tossed simultaneously. Two coins are tossed simultaneously. There are three possible outcomes: two heads, two tails, or one of each. No, that is wrong. First, that is wrong because the two. Okay, first let us write the total ways. Okay, wait, wait. So head. First one, it can be head. Yeah, both head is correct. Both tail is also correct. And each. Okay, the other one is. One or one of each. Yeah, that is right. Head and tail, but it can also be tail and head, right? 
so we have in the, in the one of each you have to consider these both cases so it is for four outcomes but they have given three therefore for each out of the outcomes the probability is 1 by 3 these are these all outcomes have equally equal probability only but it is not three outcomes it is four outcomes if a die is thrown there are two possible outcomes an odd number or an even number Incorrect. And this one. If a die is thrown, there are two possible outcomes. An odd number or an even number. Therefore, the probability of getting an odd number is 1 by 2. Yes, this is right. This is right because one odd, I, it has only two events. First, let us write for the odd number. We have the probability total outcomes. Total outcomes equal to again. We have 6. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wait. Have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Probability of getting an odd one is probability of getting odd one. Odd equal to equal to okay. Total outcomes we have six ways. And for getting an odd number, 1, 3, 5. 5, 3 and 1. These three. So, favorable outcomes equal to 3. Favorable outcomes equal to 3. So, the required probability which is P of R equal to 3 by 6. 3 by 6 which is equal to 1, 2 which is 1 by 2. So, the required probability 1 by 2. If this is 1 by 2 then P of getting an even number is also 1 by 2. 1 minus 1 by 2. So, this is correct. Yeah, this one is correct. This one is correct. P of even. Yeah, P of even. P of even e equal to 1 minus P of odd. P of because odd. Because having. These two are the only events. And these two have equal likely. Yeah, equal likely and the equal number of outcomes. Favorable outcomes. Yeah, also 3, 3. Here also 3 because of not only the ability 1 minus P of odd. Yeah. If you are having favorable outcomes for odd or 3 and for even or 4, in that case, we cannot write like this. Uh, we can write like this, but that is not equally likely. Well, those two are not equally likely. Yeah, those two. probability, you may get it. Yes. Okay. Here, you feel like you are getting it because the favorable outcomes for odd number and for even number are same. Yeah. Okay. If suppose that guys, you are having 7 faces. Ah, uh, yeah. In that cases, both are not equal. Hmm. Okay, because for, 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 for odd, odd, it will be 4 by 7. Yeah, and for even, 3 by 7. 3 by 7. Both are not equal in that case. Okay. Okay? Right. Bye-bye. For, uh, for better understanding and practice on these questions, like these questions, follow our classes. The link will be in the description below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.